What is up YouTube? <laughs> so today we got who are you? I'm Adam. Who are you? Martin. Martin, aka and Tron. Uh, at the age of how old are you now? 43. Yeah, he's got a tight foreskin, so we're gonna go and get him a circumcision <laughs> plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need one of those too, actually. <laughs> Every yeah. time it like hurts. <laughs> right, so anyway, <laughs> aside from the dirty talk, we got my KTM, Adam's GSX 1000, and Martin's. Beautiful. What is it? Z1000 RS. Ah, yeah. Ah. Ah. So today we're going for a, a big ride, about 200 and something kilometers, something like that. Hopefully, no crashes. Hopefully, no crashes. James. No crashes. No crashes. Okay. <laughs> Please, nothing. Yeah, no incidents today, no broken fender. Oh, you got your fender replaced? I did, yeah. That, that was pretty cheap in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, Ichimango Sen. Ichimango <laughs> Sen, 15. Yeah, it is, yeah, considering plastic, it's painted. Yeah. A piece of plastic, that's expensive. Bro. Wait till you crash yours. No, hey, stop that. <laughs> anyway, so let's go and get some petrol and get on the road, boys. Yes. Alrighty then, on with the boring highway bit. Those guys have got um, ETC card readers built into the bikes, which means they don't have to stop at the toll booths. They can uh, literally just ride through. I don't, so I always have to stop and pay with my card, which is kind of annoying. So anyway, I'm supposed to be leading. So Suzuka Skyline, start navigation. Best route, 57 minutes. That's good. Alrighty. Alright, those two are behind me. Alright, let's drop the hammer a bit. boys and girls so first stop we just got off the highway near Suzuka Skyline just stopped at the mini stop now we're gonna get onto Suzuka Skyline ready for it lads ready. Always. always ready all right ladies and gentlemen so the first road of the day this is the route 477 which is known as Suzuka Skyline very famous road uh, I think it used to be good back in the day these days i wouldn't say it's that good there's too many of these yellow lines and big bumps and bad surface the actual road itself the direction it goes and the corners are fantastic but the condition just sort of lets it down but anyway we'll uh go for a nice leisurely leisurely lap of the road see what you guys think of it hey Ah, oh, fucking hell, there's lots of ramblers today. That's gonna be annoying. Lots of ramblers means lots of potential accidents. Uh, it's only this bit. This is like the start of the walking course. It's somewhere, there's some, some entrance around here. But after this bit, there won't be any ramblers. So we can push on a bit more once we get past this freaking annoying zone. go in front for a bit
just uh, finished on Suzuka Skyline now. We're making our first pit stop of the day, which is a rider's house. That's a thing that, that we've got in Japan, which is um, it's kind of like a B&B, but also a cafe as well. Like in the daytime and off off season, like today, you know, it's not really the on season today, the end of September. Um, basically the place is open for ice creams and hot coffees and lunches pretty nice lunches too he sells wild boar and deer and stuff that he hunts himself I'll show you inside there's a couple of guns in there and stuff but this is it this rider house is where um, everyone just comes and hangs out basically and has a bit of a rest so we'll park up and I'll show you what it's like inside a rider's house oh yeah and you can also sleep inside if you want like there are uh, like tatami mats that you can sleep on for if you're doing like a long tour or whatever so not particularly useful for us but good if you're from Tokyo or somewhere like that so let's go inside and have a look so where are we right what's it called Kobe or something Riders Cafe that's all I can read that's a bit in English Riders House is it um, is it Riders I House I couldn't even read that properly <laughs> fucking hell Adam <laughs> so, so what what's here here we got uh, you can get fresh ice cream. Okay. You can get coffees, and the guy hunts animals himself. There's a couple of guns in there. Oh yeah. He's got wild. He boar. doesn't like gingers, yeah, isn't it? No, like I'm gingers. Fuck. You might, you might get shot today. Yeah. <laughs> um, ginger boar. <laughs> ginger boar and deer, I think, is it? And that you can get like chicken and stuff. Like, there's all sorts. But you can also sleep upstairs if you want to. Yeah, you're all right. He's got guns. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll, st I'll, I'll like, stay out. I know, yeah. Have a nice day, little boy. <laughs> Let's see if he actually remembers us this time, because he says like, oh, where did you come from? Yeah, yeah, every uh, time. We told time. you last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm on film, I don't feel comfortable. No, My brother. <laughs> Yeah. And you can buy bullets inside, like used bullets these. Smart what shell casings? Yeah, shell casings. But with that the actual tips in them as well. Oh okay. Alright boys and girls, just finished a quick bite to eat in the uh, rider's house Kambe and I have to report to you that the hot dog was not good. Hot dog is the worst hot dog you've ever seen or eaten in your life. Yeah, it looked like he just got a pepperami and cut it in half, so it was basically a half a sausage, and then microwaved some hot dog rolls, shoved it in, and then that was it. And, and it was like five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> too much uh, mustard. Too much mustard. Yeah. Way too much mustard. So it was basically rank, so I wouldn't suggest you eat a hot dog if you come here. But last time me and Adam came here, we had a nice, like, fried chicken lunch that was good. He's a technophobe, too. Yeah, he's a technophobe. My card wouldn't work and uh, whatever. Anyway, so next we're on to Route 421, which is the first time for both me and Adam and Martin. So we're hoping it's good. It looks good on Google Maps. So let's get on the road. So far the road to the road, the little, the road that looks shitty on the map leading to the road that looks awesome on the map is pretty damn good. So you never know what kind of awesome roads you're going to find just looking at the maps because this one didn't really particularly look good on Google Earth but now we're here and you can see the, the curves, it looks bloody awesome. So we got another about 15 minutes on this road until we hit the one that's supposed to be freaking good. So yeah, very enjoyable day so far. All right, guys. So I just <laughs> rode past this little garden here, this in this tiny little village, and there's some bizarre stuff going on. So I just had to stop and video this. See all these people hard at work? Well, they're all dummies. <laughs> Even this old boy riding the scooter with a showy helmet. Someone picking the oranges. This old bird's having a nice beer. Full of beers. She's had a lot. She's probably drunk as hell. Yeah. And this guy's maybe having sex with the bush. I'm not sure. 
this old lady just going for a stroll how bizarre is this just in the middle of nowhere it's like a, a tourist attraction in this village I guess Look, the old biddy there as well she's got a video camera she's filming me maybe there we go look she's filming me trying to catch speeders wow cool <laughs> here the boys are uh, there's people waiting at the bus stop as well with their suitcases how bizarre what's this all about they're even in like in front of people's houses as well there's a little policeman there with a flag yeah and there's a little lady trying to cross the road <laughs> with a baby car oh that one the bags moving it looks like one of them's actually real Creepy. yeah <laughs> That guy's like a scary looking guy. Let me get the bus sign in. Fuck you gloves, work. Okay. I'll get one as well. Oh yeah. Sucked off by this lady. <laughs> oh god. Someone's gonna see us man. E <laughs> oh is, is Adam being filthy again? Yeah. Brilliant. Cheers, man. Look at that poor old lady sucking off. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so this is getting super boring we've been stuck behind these bloody cars and bikes for ages now making zero progress so i just put a new route in the map unknown road but uh let's go and turn off in 700 meters and hopefully it says it's eight minutes slower than this road is which hopefully means it's more twisty <laughs> so uh yeah turning off the road in 500 meters I have to say goodbye to the blondie the blondie up front blonde hair Japanese girl rider that is like my ultimate dream my porno dream <laughs> all right so straight on 421 left can't see the signs of the trees but I think it's 34 yeah okay so we'll take this road and hopefully it'll turn out to be better than this freaking moving traffic jam that it is arrow hopefully it sorts itself out in a minute so yeah here we are a village in the middle of nowhere I literally don't know where we are oh it's very picturesque though look at that cool little temple sweet yeah so this road seems like there's gonna be a lot of villages on the way so it's gonna be like stop start stop start gun it then a the village ride slowly gun it then a the village ride slowly but I think that is better than staying on that boring road earlier where we were just stuck behind that stuck behind all that traffic so I think we'll persevere on this road until we hit our favorite road to the 306 I'll come through quickly and and then I'll slow down here and then do a burnout Burnout? Yeah Okay So Google really does take you off the beaten path. It suggested this Route 34 and it told us to ride across the dam. So that's exactly what we're doing. 
get that sinking feeling in my balls looking down there. Ooh. It's weird, the water's a really disgusting colour. Yeah, I got that sinking feeling in my balls. My balls have gone all like, oh, too high. My mate lived on the top floor of an apartment in uh, Tsukusa. Yeah. And, uh, just for a bit, he was renting it. And in the attic, he was in the middle of a power ball. Yeah. And he was really on us throwing them down. And they were just bouncing up fucking from miles. No way. So off the air, you see them like glinting in the distance. Yeah. Shit. Well, Google is saying go this way, so. <laughs> it's telling you to go this yeah. way. No, it's literally this way. <laughs> yeah, it's not not every day that you get to drive over a dam. Right, onwards. Still got half an hour of this small lane oh fuck of these uh, shitty little lanes so yeah we're gonna have to get get our asses completely mullered and get our balls smashed to bits but uh, it'll be all worth it when we get to the 306 oh fuck so yeah stick around guys the good road is coming soon so you lead the way bro me? I'll get you in front and I'll get him in behind me hopefully just, road, just go straight all the way. Go on, man. Alrighty, so just another quick break in the 7-Eleven, another rice ball and a bit of choco, a bit of chocolate. Now we're going to hit up the 306. This way, this way. Yep. Right. 
brakes are getting a bit hot. Oh, thank you. Be Go a bit slowly for these old boys. I want to give them a heart attack. Uh, yeah, I know. I was like, ah. Uh, I thought maybe they're like timing it or something. As soon as I saw them, I went really slowly. You know the stop button, and there we go back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, please. Yeah. What was my lap time, officer? <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we just finished our ride for today. We've got about 200 kilometers on the bikes today on beautiful twisty roads. So let's get the lads' opinion. Stop shagging my bike. So what do you reckon, boys? That was not too bad. I was too busy looking at Adam's ass and your ass the whole time because I was always at the back. <laughs> what do you reckon? Awesome roads as always. Yeah. Well chosen by you. Thank you. It's, it's awesome. It's the way I roll, boys. <laughs> roll. Right, well, it looks like it's about to rain, I reckon. Time to head home and uh, get in the bath, I reckon. Uh, so all together? Yes. Yeah, why not? Do it. Big old set. Homo dati. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good YouTube. See you in the next video. Cheers. Goodbye.